Shout out my label, that's me I'm in this bitch with TB I'm in this bitch with 4 Trey I just pulled up me a A Real nigga all in my face 500 racks in my safe 500 racks to the plug What you know about showing love? What you know about pulling up? In Billy Chubb Make the fall in love All of my niggas on go None of my niggas no hope All of my niggas gon' smoke All of my niggas together We came from the bottom We used to wear each other None of my niggas gon' fold Couple what's up back again with another video and before the video actually start i need y'all to click that like button and subscribe if you haven't word to a thousand subs but anyways yes y'all read the title correct i almost got shot ah uh, i mean maybe i over dramatic but to me i almost got shot but let me know what y'all think down below so this was like any other day so like i used to have training first thing i used to have training i used to actually play football so this was like last year ja so this was like last year late january early february so yeah i used to go football training and everything and everything so it used to be four of us me and let's call these people lisa hannah and Margaret. So me, Lisa, Hannah, and Margaret, we basically go in the same direction to go home. Either catch bus or walk to home. So we used to walk together, you know. So, you know, this like any other day, we just walking and talking, you know, bussing with little jokes and what's that and what's not. So we used to take like the same, well, the same route basically. Come down the uh, new town, cause we used to have train in Newtown. So we walk, come down from new town, come to the square, go across the road by the bank, don't know where the road Go down 4th street and turn cross by the square there, you know, by Lucky's there, with the road there, by Lucky's there. But we used to normally walk straight cross. But this is where, you know, a little difference comes. So while we walking cross, you know, we already reached the uh, by the Spanish bar. I don't know if you all know, but you have a Spanish bar, um, here just a uh, barbershop, like all and down like one block, right? So we do it by the Spanish bar. So we walk in past the Spanish bar and Lisa said she want a drink. So we're like, okay, okay. We wait there either way. So we could just turn, you know, just take a little turn and walk down the road there between KFC and Quartz. So we said, okay, I mean, ain't far. Chinese right there. Let's go. Why are we about to walk down the road, right? We hear like a lot, a lot of glass bottles just drop on the ground. Cool, cool, cool. I ain't know what I could have been. So, you know, kind of like walking guy still, eh? But I walk in slow. I cautious. I very cautious when it comes to things like this. Like, may you not, know, but I take my time, right? And, you know, Anna was, you know, like a little further ahead of us. So she actually saw what was going on and she was like, are you, are you? Like she was like, I, I, oh, fighting. So, okay, fighting. So she running again. Okay, I ain't trying to say nothing like bad or anything about this place or anything. I know. It's mad night. She said it herself. She used to things like that. Me, I ain't saying that I ain't used to things like that because, and of course, some things pack, but not, not as much. If. But anyways, you know, so she kind of wanted you know, to see what's going on and I, like, you know, you could see straight ahead, you could see straight ahead, like you could actually see like the Chinese from just walking on the road and it was a Sunday, so you know, ain't much like vehicles passing through town and stuff like that. So while I walking down the road, the man, I kid you not, I see two partners fight, like, okay, not really fighting, I see like one one guy roughing up this this necks and like pulling him by his shirt and stuff like that, right? So I'm like, okay. First thing I think is okay, maybe some gang related issue or something. Cool. So I still ain't know how this man get this thing to. But you know, one of the man was holding on to other partner shirt, tugging it, and I kid you not. This man 
is our t-shirt like is our t-shirt <laughs> But this man actually come up his shirt. So this is where he making turn to one up the one up. And yo, if you know me, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna say that I coward or anything like that. I wouldn't I wouldn't classify myself as coward, but I mean me want go down like that. So I was like no no no. So I start running back up the road. My yo, Lisa. And Anna. one guy back up the road and then turn left. So I did decide now, like, where are you going to turn? And at the time, I had on some big shoes because remember the boy did some jaggers that was too big. And like, I was going to be like, oh, I'm not wearing them because they're too big. So I wear them still. They were just like a little too big. I wear them still. So I run in with some big shoes on my foot. Man, <laughs> I went in with some big shoes on my foot. So. They're gone right. I see I can left. So as I'm at the corner now, I see the Spanish lady coming out this Spanish bar. So I try to tell this woman like, yo, open the door. Like I try to signal to her like stick, yo, a man coming, like fighting going on or something. And she ain't studying me at all. Like, maybe she could not talk English, but like, she wasn't even she wasn't paying me no mind. I'm I just like miss open the door and like Man, she not, she not, she not. So at that point, I was like, "Well, if you come there, this direction, he might, he probably gonna just hold the two of us as hostage, and one of us, two of us, might just dead right there." Cause yeah, I defend the man. I think it all kind of things in my head. So like, couple seconds after, he run come and he come the same direction I went, and I just like, Lord, why? Like I just like why why the man and like he kind of glanced across at us like he kind of like watch us but like he continued running and I was like I was so relieved man but ain't even done there it wasn't done there at all because I remember I tell you so he was wrestling with somebody so that man like three seconds after run coming behind him and I just like yo I just be watching. I ain't saying nothing. I ain't saying nothing. I just let it do their thing. They know who they after. So I say I go wait a little. I say I go wait a little. You know, minute or so. Make sure they ain't double back. I ain't know. Maybe they could just maybe pan up with double back and come back and I this I just think oh, okay, I can't So I say I go wait. You know, wait a little minute. Make sure they come. So you know, the minute up. I came back down the road now. The man. The man. As I then got to the corner to go back down the road. I just feel me body and this other person body. And like I did shook the man. I did shook because the person taller than me, right? And if you know me, you know I shot. I shot. So he taller than me. I shot and I look in straight ahead. So when I look in straight ahead now, I see this gun in this man's hand. And ain't like he was running with it. He had it like, you know, he had it like this. Like like this. Right? And I just looking straight, man. And I ain't saying that thing. And I just did shook the man. I I could not move. I just serious. That that was actually how I was. I was just still the man. Man, even if he asked me like if if I know they went or anything, but all I know I was ready to beg. I was ready to beg for my life. Like. Yo, And I tell him the truth, I wasn't even gonna look up. I was gonna keep my head straight. Man, that's how afraid I was. I was ready to just beg for my life because, yo, like, I, I never come in contact with a gun like that. Of course, like, I see police around town with, like, guns and stuff like that. But, like, to actually boot up into somebody with a gun in their hand and, like, visible just like that and demand. But luckily, 
luckily he carried on his journey and I was just like yo what the hell and I walking down the road and I shaking the man my my I trembling the man I frightened I frightened bad the man I like after like we, we reached like on the mail well the mail would now in front KFC and so people was like oh the two men were police and the, the man were come out of his shirt he was actually stealing from Chinese supermarket and let like, the same and the chase stop him and what's that and what's that but I mean we didn't know all that at the time we thought that is fighting and got something to do with gang and you know that's 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 what we thought so like they like, with the actually friend but but I mean after the whole situation we was actually just laughing and laughing we was laughing yo we was laughing because after the whole situation it was actually kind of funny but yeah at the moment like the moment itself yo I different but but that's all for the video today guys if you enjoyed that story don't forget to click that like button if you haven't and subscribe don't forget to follow me on all social media and if you want another story to anchor trust me a lot of crazy things happen to me a lot and i got plenty more so if y'all want another story time give this video at least 20 likes and y'all will get another story time and also leave some questions down below because i plan on doing a q a you know updated version so leave me any questions y'all want me to answer and i will get back to that in a video but yeah that's all for the video today guys and spiffy gang stay spiffy Oh uh...